Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from TechLuna.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your phone on your external hard drive, step by step. So, let's have a look. The number one reason why you want to do this is because you don't have enough space on your computer and you're probably going to get the error even though that you have more available space on your computer than what your iPhone cons consumes. And unfortunately, I couldn't find out why this happens. I even contacted the Apple support and they still didn't know why this happened. And this is when I thought of this trick, which allows iTunes to think that you're storing the backup on your computer, but technically you're storing it on your external hard drive. And the only thing you're gonna need is an external hard drive with plenty of free space into it. So if you consume 60 gigabytes of storage on your iPhone, try to have at least 120 gigabytes of free space on your external hard drive. And you can find how much space you consume by going to about in general, and you'll see all the information right there. And one last thing before we move on, I have written a whole article on techno.com of this guide, and you probably need it in order to copy paste some commands that we're gonna use for this guide instead of typing them on your own so you can save some time. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the way it's going to work is by finding the iTunes folder, which stores all the backups and link it to a folder on our external hard drive. And the reason why we're doing this is because there is no such feature in iTunes, which allows us to change the location of the backups. And this is very fortunate. So let's go ahead and do this. So first click on your desktop with your mouse and make sure it says finder on the menu and then go to go and go where it says go to folder. From here type squiggle, the squiggle character slash library. And in case you're gonna find the character on your keyboard, then feel free to go ahead and copy paste this directory from the article on techlunar.com. Once you're ready, press on go. And here is where Apple is storing all the important files about your Mac, which includes iTunes, keychains and all this stuff. But what we want to do is to go to application support. From here, scroll down and go to mobile sync. And this is where iTunes is making all of the backups. As you can see, this is where it's going to store iCloud backups as well as your normal iPhone computer backups. So what we're going to do is we're going to link the backup folder on our external hard drive. So we're going to go and open up our external hard drive, make sure that you also have it plugged in. And we're going to create a new directory named as backup. Make sure that you have the same name so you can show you so you avoid getting confused. And then go ahead and drag all of your previous backups from your backup folder directly to your external hard drive new backup folder. And we do this just to have everything in one place rather than having them in multiple places and getting confused. And once you have successfully transferred the backups, you may delete backup on mobile sync. If you don't have enough space to do that and you only want to have one backup on your external hard drive, then you can always rename the backup folder on mobile sync to something like backup one. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and link mobile sync to backup on external hard drive. And to do that, we need to open terminal by going to applications and typing for terminal, or you can go on spotlight search and type terminal there. Now we're gonna quickly go ahead and organize all these windows so we'll be able to see everything. On terminal, we need to type a command which will allow the link to happen. And the way it works is you tell the direction which is the folder that we just created on our external hard drive and the source, which is mobile sync. So let's go ahead and do this. So type ln dash s and then drag the backup folder that you just created on your hard drive on terminal. And this is gonna create the destination path for you. And then go on mobile sync, go back one step behind and then drag the mobile sync folder on terminal. Once it's done, press enter, and then the link 
will be done. And, by, and you can confirm this by going back to Mobile Sync and you'll see a little arrow pointing on backup. And once you click on it, you'll see the backups, but in reality, you're actually navigating to your external hard drive. And as a reminder, this command is on my article, so you can go ahead and copy and paste it on terminal, but please make sure that you change the parameters, which is the name of your hard drive and the, the username of your computer. So be sure to change those, otherwise it's gonna throw you an error. And once you're done, then you can go ahead in iTunes and back up your phone by clicking on backup now, and your phone will be backed up without any errors. And if it still throws the error that you don't have enough space, then go ahead, then please make, then go ahead and clear some files on your external hard drive because it looks like that it requires more space for, for the backup to be done. You may try to drag files on your computer from your hard drive so you can relieve some space uh, there. And you proceeded on the progress bar to backup my iPhone. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it because it's gonna take way too long in order for the backup to be finished. Now, a couple of things I would like to mention before we actually finish this video. One is that you need to make sure that you have your hard drive connected to your computer whenever you want to do a backup on your iPhone. Otherwise, iTunes is gonna throw an error saying that your backup is corrupt and stuff like that. But this is not actually true. It's because, it's because iTunes cannot find the direction of the folder that you have linked with Mobile Sync. So be sure to quickly plug in your hard drive and try backing up again. And second is that I would like to show you how you can how you can unlink mobile sync with your external hard drive because you have made a lot of free space on your computer and you can handle everything from, from there. So the way you do it back on terminal, you need to type unlink space and the path of the backup directory on mobile sync. Or you can go ahead and copy paste the command from the article on techlunar.com. Once you do this, press on enter, and then you will see that the link has been successfully removed from mobile sync. But that's okay, you don't need to worry about it because if you go on your external hard drive, the backup folder has not been deleted. And you can always go ahead and check it. You can open the backup and you'll see that all the files are still there. And this is everything you need to know on how to backup your iPhone on your external hard drive. Or you can visit our forum where there is a link on the very first comment or in the description where I made a new thread where you can go ahead and post your questions on the thread with images so it will be a lot easier for me to help you out. And if you would like to stay tuned for new videos and be the first to watch all of our future videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to get notified on every video we upload. And if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like this video and share this with your friends in case they're experiencing the same issue. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm going to see you to my next video.